Hey folks, figured it was probably overdue that I brought you down for a bit of a look at what's been going on in the Dahlia patch. Obviously it's been a slow start to the season uh, with not only has there been, you know, the late planting, um, but once the plants did start to establish, I managed to get thrip and broad my infestation, which has meant a whole lot of extra time and work spraying and trying to get the plants back healthy again. Um, but it seems that I've hopefully finally got that under control and as you can see over my shoulder I'm finally starting to get some blooms so let's go and have a look and you can see what's happened since the last update okay so here we are down in the patch and I'll turn you around and show you actually first I'll show you put up a picture of what the patch was looking like a few months ago and then um, we'll have a look at how it's looking now. All right, here we go, folks. So this is what we look like now. As you can see, not plenty of nice lush growth. Still haven't gotten rid of the tyres, whoops. Um, these are some sunflowers over here. Um, these were a little bit late going in, but as you can see, it certainly hasn't held them back. Um, still got some cabbages and beetroots, which I've planted right the way along the front of that bed of sunflowers. Uh, coming along nicely which is cool but we're not really here to look at that um, <clears throat> so just focusing on this one here this is Sugartown Sunrise um, nice big beautiful blooms not overly long stems but quite a gorgeous flower um, I'll just show you this is um, what things kind of look like as they start to recover from the mites um, but let's just pop over here for a sec and I'll show you what kind of damage gets done you can see the quite deformed kind of leaves here they're very hard very leathery um, not their true shape um, but I've been um, as I said, trying to get on top of those. And as you can see, it's a slow process. Some of those ones across the front here um, were actually planted quite late, um, which is why they're a lot smaller than say, you know, ones like this or this section over here. Um, just come down this row here, um, just to give you an idea, this is, some of the first planted ones. These, this is actually um, CMC Treasure. As you can see, opens up quite deep purple to start with, but it fades out and the white tends to wash out a little bit. But this plant here um, is as tall as me. I'm bas basically six foot tall. Um, but as you can see the beds the beds they're made in uh, or growing in I should say are only two fence palings high um, but yeah as you can see grow quite tall <clears throat> this one here is a personal favorite um, this is one that I tracked down last year that uh, my grandfather used to grow so I'm very excited to have this one blooming. And then there's some nice surprises. Like this one here. Um, I had this one last year, but it didn't flower for me last year. So it's nice to actually see how it looks. 
And then you've got gorgeous ones like this here. This is not a big bloom, you can see by the size of my hand. My hands aren't small, but um, I love the way you get the little variations in the petals. And it can be anywhere from this orangey color to much more pinky tones all on the same plant, which is kind of cool. Over in this bed, we've got this cute little anemone type, which is called Maui. And this is a second year seedling, very sparse flower, but we love the color on it. And then over to this really deep one here. The first flowers on this one were really affected after the mites, but it's starting to come true now, so quite happy about that. This one's called Nugget. This one here, um, in fact, the next couple that I'll show you are second year seedlings, um, but you can see how well that one's flowering. Um, another one here. And really quite loving this one. Um, another second year seedling, but love the color. And we're joined by a little friend. Um, that's one of the bonuses of these more open scented varieties. The bees really love them because it's quite easy for them to get to the pollen. favourite this year. Um, this one's called Light Accord. Beautiful um, creamy lemony blooms which do open up with the tiniest little hint of pink um, on the edges of the petals when the bloom first opens. First for me this year, this one's Clara Thora. Um, this one's actually called a Stella type. Um, <clears throat> beautiful creamy white with hints of blush towards the outside. Here we've got the ever popular Cafe Au Lait. Um, I like this one because it varies very much Color. It can be anywhere from this kind of buff, milky, coffee kind of color through to more of the pink tones. Um, but then you also get ones like this one here, which are almost white, but you can see the size of that bloom. Huge and roughly and gorgeous. Um, but I also quite like the pink touch you get on the reverse of the petals. Um, not easy to see, sorry, not hard to see why it's popular for weddings. And then you've got ones like this one here. This is Glenmark Kadena. Um, this one's still kind of getting to its true form. When the first flowers started opening up, they were a bit more like this one, very, um, sparse in petals but as it's getting further into the season you can see that it's getting more and more petals which is good to see. Here we've got another new one for me this year. Um, this is And Delight. Um, white with very soft lilac lavender kind of tips on the petals and on the reverse very pretty just to show you this is another um, plant that was severely affected by the mites once again as you can see deformed leaves very thick 
fleshy kind of leaves, um, quite hard, um, as opposed to the regular, more well recognised shape of a dahlia leaf and a much thinner leaf, much more pliable. Um, but I'll just take you over to another plant and I'll show you how the plants are recovering. So, as you can see down in the centre of this plant, this is the older growth. So you can see, yet again, deformed leaves, deformed flower buds. Um, but with all the new growth, you can actually see here, it's actually coming back true to how it should be and I've actually got the first bud just starting to open up. Often after they've had or been attacked by the mites the first buds are a little deformed, um, petals not necessarily as the shape they should be um, but as you can see by this plant here, it's actually recovering fairly well, which is really good because it's one that I'm really looking forward to seeing when it's out. So anyway folks, just a quick one today, um, as you can see, a lot more lush growth than the last update, um, which is awesome, starting to get flowers, um, but still a long way to go through the season, so I'll keep you posted on how things go.